Hello wonderful person, this is Anton, and this right here seems to be the earliest this galaxy we've ever discovered. And this is really strange because it actually sort of violates the theories we had about the creation of galaxies. So let's discuss this new galaxy known as the Wolf Disk and welcome to What The Mac. Today, most of our understanding of how galaxies form is based on both observation around us and also various very complex computer simulations like the one you see right here. This is the very famous Illustris project, which actually has several components within it, and it has been really successful at trying to recreate these virtual universes by using supercomputers. And when scientists run these simulations, they end up um, creating these virtual particles moving around virtual space, but eventually this all ends up looking like actual galaxies that we have here in our own universe, and so because of this a lot of scientists believe that most of these simulations are extremely accurate. For example, after running this simulation for a few billion years in virtual reality, the um, galaxy kind of starts looking like this, and this is very similar to a lot of typical galaxies we see around us. And by the way, you can also explore some of these simulations, at least the two-dimensional ones, completely by yourself by going to the Illustris Project's website and navigate through these virtual galaxies created by the project itself. But that's kind of not really the point. The point is that we thought we understood how galaxies are made, and because of this we thought we understood that these so-called disk-shaped galaxies, or spiral galaxies, with a relatively flat disk right here, are more or less a new creation. They most likely did not exist in the beginning of the universe, because right in the beginning, in the first few billion years, there was a tremendous amount of chaos, a lot of really um, blobby, sort of irregular galaxies that all collided together, creating all sorts of weird shapes, but most likely not really disks. And all of this is referred to as the so-called hot mode scenario. Basically, there was a lot of hot matter, all colliding, all interacting, and all eventually sort of forming more stable and more familiar shapes that we have around us today. And this so-called hot mode scenario is um, so far the prevalent theory, and we've always believed that this is kind of what happened in the beginning of the universe, and eventually some galaxies cool down enough to start forming disk shapes, and were essentially undisturbed by collisions, and this is probably how the Andromeda, the Triangulum, and also the Milky Way galaxies came to be. But there was also this other scenario known as the cold scenario, or cold mode scenario, and it did not involve these chaotic collisions, and it also did not involve a lot of hot matter. As a matter of fact, the scenario involved a lot of cold gas, just a little bit warmer than the absolute zero, approximately 10 degrees Kelvin. In this so-called cold scenario, you did not need to have these collisions because everything was mandated and guided by the mysterious dark matter. And these large channels of dark matter that we refer to as the galactic filament that's been uh, shown and proven many times are sort of like the tunnels that guide dark matter to produce larger chunks of it and they also end up producing these really large halos of dark matter that today we believe exist everywhere but so far have not truly been proven mostly because it's impossible for us to actually um, see it. So in other words, this is another dark matter theory that existed for a long time but has never really been proven. And in this particular theory, the idea behind the galactic creation also involves this cold gas following along these mysterious dark filaments until they reach the location of the halo and then all of this gas gets stuck there, but because it's sort of guided by the filament and by the dark matter, all of this gas eventually gets stuck in the dark halo and starts producing a somewhat orderly disk shape. So in other words, this theory, the cold mode theory, predicted that you could technically have a disk shaped galaxy without these violent hot collisions that we know existed in the beginning. And until today, we didn't really know if this was uh, true or not but now we've discovered something that seems to confirm this idea. So what the scientists just saw, and what the scientists refer to as DLA0817G, also known as Wolf Disk, seems to be an actual disk galaxy, but in the universe that was only about 1.2 billion years old, or the universe that was roughly around 10% of its current age. 
If we look at any simulation today that creates galaxies, most galaxies do not form these disk shapes after only 1.2 billion years. It takes much longer for galaxies like Milky Way to start forming this shape. And this particular discovery suggests that something else must have happened in this situation to form this beautiful galaxy so early on. Now, the reason we know that this is a disk-shaped galaxy is actually kind of cool. So what the scientists were looking at are quasars. Quasars are extremely bright, they produce a lot of light, and a lot of this light is pointed directly at us. But as this astrophysical jet and all of the matter coming out of it comes toward us, sometimes it passes through clouds of matter on the way, and sometimes it even passes through other galaxies. And this is exactly what happened in this case. The jet from a distant quasar passed through the molecular gas that was then detected by several different telescopes, allowing us to see the matter inside of this galaxy, and also allowing us to identify and analyze a lot of the motion of the actual gas. And what the scientists discovered by looking at this gas is that one side of this gas produced the red shift equivalent but opposite to the blue shift on the other side. In other words, the gas on this side was moving away from us around 272 kilometers per second, on the opposite side, it was doing the opposite, it was moving toward us. In other words, this was spinning. So it's as if we were looking at this galaxy from sort of this perspective right here, but a galaxy that was over 12 billion years old and in really, really early universe. And surprisingly, this was an extremely active galaxy, producing about 10 times more stars than the Milky Way today, with the total mass of approximately 70 billion masses of the Sun. So this was already a massive galaxy, it seemed to have formed a disk shape, and the gas was moving in a kind of a circular formation. And what's more, the scientists behind the study now believe that these so-called Wolf's disks, which is actually named after the PhD advisor for the main researcher, could be extremely common and could be everywhere out there. And that's because the so-called cold mode theory predicts the existence of these galaxies and the formation of these galaxies on really large scales. So in some sense, this is not just the discovery of a very distant and very unusual disk galaxy, but it's also the confirmation of dark matter yet again. Something is definitely causing these galaxies to form so early on, and as of today, except for the dark matter, we have no other explanation to how this would be possible. Pretty much every other explanation where spiral galaxies are formed requires them to do uh, the actual collision and formation for at least 4 to even 6 billion years. This is when we believe the Milky Way acquired its shape as well. Before that, it was very likely a combination of smaller galaxies colliding with one another, and we actually see the signs of this in various global clusters still orbiting around the Milky Way, with many of them being really, really old. So if it's not for the collisions, something else must have formed these galaxies so early, only after about 1.2 billion years, and once again, it's probably dark matter. But until we discover more of these so-called Wolf's Disks, or these unusual spiral galaxies in really distant places of the universe, when the universe was extremely young, I guess we can't really call this an actual fact. We still need confirmations and we still need a lot more investigations to try to discover if maybe what we're looking at is just an anomaly. Maybe it's some unusual formation of dust clouds that seem to circulate in a certain way, kind of similar to how a typical galaxy would. And so with time, the scientists will either discover more of these Wolf's Disks, or maybe we'll find another explanation to what we just saw. Until then, thank you for watching, subscribe if you still haven't, share this with someone who loves learning about space and sciences, and come back tomorrow to learn something you may have not known before. Also, consider supporting this channel on Patreon, it does help me quite a lot, and alternatively, you can also support this channel by buying the wonderful person t-shirt that you can also find in the description below. I'll see you tomorrow, space out, and as always, bye-bye.